Hi, this is Jeff over at Motorsport Scooters, also known as Robot. I'm going to show how to champ reports on a two-stroke cylinder. You're going to need an air die grinder or a Dremel tool uh, with a carbide burr bit on there, a cone-shaped one. And there's the sharp cylinder ports. And you don't want to install a cylinder with those ports sharp. They can catch the rings and break, break the rings off the piston. And cause a lot of havoc. <laughs> Here's Steve, ready to jam for some ports. Crush it really hard. <laughs> and I'll warn you, he's not wearing safety glasses. He should be wearing safety glasses. Yeah. Looking up the air grinder. Safety glasses aren't required in motorsport scooters. I close my eyes if you notice carefully. Mm -hmm. Get in there, dude. Notice you use your hands at the base of a cylinder, which act as a fulcrum, which maintains total control. Then, then you go full speed on and watch that thing rip around and it ruin your nice brand new <laughs> $300 cylinder kit. Well, I keep that at a minimum. I'm doing it slow and exaggerated for the sake of the camera. Have you ever had it zing around on you? I've actually never fucked up a cylinder. Maybe this will be the one. Yeah. Or is the camera in the way? No, I'm fine. The camera is actually also acting as my eye protection. <laughs> <laughs> How much do we do this service for? Fifteen dollars, baby. Twenty-five. Uh, went up to twenty-five. That's the way we work here. Mostly. Alex thinks it should be more because he's too scared to use a tool, so he does it always by hand. At which I point, it, at which point, it should be fifty dollars. Uh. I think, uh, what are you doing in Old Town today? Uh, we went to breakfast. I don't know why the hell we went down there. Oh, I had a gift card. Did you see where the office was, or? No, for some reason I thought it was on Goldfinch. Oh. So I was kind of looking on Goldfinch. Uh -huh. But we had already driven by by the time you gave that me the huge, address. That huge sky rise they got right there? They're almost finished with that. Now we're You know there's a lefties going in by the old fills. Oh, there is? Yeah. I was wondering what that, because I saw the fill sign went down. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be open in a month or so. Uh, that should be pretty cool, actually. This cylinder's for my buddy Larry in Panama. Guys, he's got a lot of bikes. <laughs> Shout out to Larry. <laughs> Larry, what up? Larry Gandolfi, that crazy guy from New York now in Panama. <laughs> crazy motherfucker, dude. Is that your camera or what? Yeah, this is like Alex's. I thought it was Alex. I thought it kind of looked like Alex's old one. <laughs> this guy play. This guy is the scooter guy. Mm -hmm. Guy in flogging Molly. We should just charge per port, dude. <laughs> Three port, five port, or seven port. This is kind of weird doing this with a fucking camera in the way. <laughs> Not in the way, just present. Here's what the pores should look like when you're finished. They should have a 45 degree chamfer, about uh, 1 32nd to 16th inch. Don't want to take off too much material. And after you're done chamfering the ports, you want to clean it with a cleaner, uh, such as Simply Green or Zep, a water-based cleaner. And you're going to need to wipe it down until the rag comes out clean. You don't want any of that cast iron particles. You know,